Sorry if my head's in the way. I don't know if it is or not. I got to get up right on it. <laughs> a little heavier shade in there. Oh, I almost forgot I got a shade right here. At the bottom. Okay. So you can see what I've done with that dark brown pencil. Now let's blend it out. Blend out. Where's my blender? There it is. Something else I want to show you, if I can find it quickly. They have a pencil, it's right here. They have a pencil extender. I already have a pencil in here. Um, if your pencil starts getting really short like this, you can buy a pencil extender um, to extend your pencils. So on any pencil, on a colored pencil, on um, one of your um, blender pencils. So just to show you that. That could really extend the life and save you money. And we're just gonna blend this out. And you know what's weird is I actually like working with um, a dull blender pencil. See how this is kind of dull? <laughs> it's not sharp at all. It makes it almost better <laughs> to really like be able to get in there and really blend out when it's not super sharp for blending. I know that sounds weird. I say some different things than a lot of people say. I even say use a medium pressure when I, you know, I was saying use do the, doing the shading right now. Usually you hear people say do very light pressure, very light strokes. This is my deal. I lay down a lot of color when I when I do pencil because I know I'm going to use this blender, and it's going to and I'm going to need to have enough color on here to blend it out. I'm not a patient person. I do not like to do 20 million layers, light layers, with my pencil. Now, some people love that, and if they like that, more power to them, and they should continue to do so, but I cannot stand that. I'd rather chop my head off. <laughs> well, it's not that serious, but... I, I, when I found out about this blender pencil, I was so there. I'm like, I am there for you. I went right to, they have them at Michael's. You can get two in a pack. I think they're by general. You can get two in a pack for around three or four dollars. You can use a coupon or you can go to Blix. Is this a Blix one? I don't know. You can go to Blix and get them for like a dollar fifty a piece and it's the Blix brand. So go over by the Blix pencils and they got the blender pencils right there. Get a blender pencil. It will, it will change your life. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but you'll like it. If you like my style, you'll like that blender pencil. But I understand, I'm not for everybody. Okay, see how cool this is looking? Love it. And it all started with the, um, with using the um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo. If you were able to take advantage of that clearance at Hobby Lobby, that would have been awesome because they had quite a few and they, you got them for like $1.25. It was crazy. They didn't have any vintage photo though, um, but they had, were selling the Distress Oxide for $1.25. So if you can take advantage of that, pick those up. They're about five bucks a piece regularly, which with a coupon, it's not a bad price if you have a coupon. Not as cheap as $1.25 though. So look out for that at Hobby Lobby. If your Hobby Lobby hasn't clearanced their Tim Holtz stuff yet. I know you guys are seeing a lot of videos, but there's still stores who haven't clearanced everything yet. And they actually shut up because there was a date that they had to do it, which was a few days ago. But I still hear people saying that their Hobby Lobby just got to it. Or they haven't even clearanced their stuff yet. So, anyway. Crazy. Look how pretty that looks. Let me show you. I'm going to bring it up close. Doesn't that look cool? Looks like an old hat. And I'm telling you, that's what that Tim Holtz Distress Oxides do. 
oh, just gives you such a beautiful aging. Let me show you the glasses, how I'm going to do the glasses to make them look like, um, you know, a pair of sunglasses, like I have a purple lens in them. So I did the watercolor purple, right? So now I'm taking violet Prismacolor pencil and I'm just going to go around the edges. The edges go around the outside and do it to the other one. If her glasses were bigger, I would even like shade like three quarters, like a, like just a quarter of the glass a little bit more than somewhere else. But there's not that much room in these glasses for the blending, so I'm not going to. I just kind of went evenly around. Then take your blender pencil again. Also wipe off your blender pencil because sometimes the stuff from before is on there. And then blend out into that lighter purple. I am going to add a little bit more purple into here. There we go. Very cool. Very cool. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to bring it up kind of close. See how that, putting that purple like that and then blending it out? Okay. Now to add the magic onto that whole thing, we're going to throw some um, onto the glasses and the, sh and the, um, the eyeglass part and the rims. We need a little white. So I'm going to use my liner brush, okay, and add a little bit of white paint right here. Okay, and we're just going to You know what, I need to go a little bit deeper with this purple. Just a second, on the outside, I just need to just define that a little bit more. Before I do this. Yeah, just a little bit more. And then you blend that out a little bit more right there. That looks better. There we go. Okay, so now let's take our white and just throw some highlights right there. And then we're gonna throw some highlights on the rim of these glasses. There we go. Right there. I think that looks good. I think that's everything. Let me just check my other thing and make sure I did it all. Oh, the one last thing is I didn't do the shading on the um, mahogany part. Let's do that really quick. And I actually would have preferred doing that before I did those highlights, but no problem. Um, just to show you how that looks. Um, I took, I'm taking a uh, Tuscan red over that mahogany distressed ink, and this isn't the, um, oxide. It's just the regular distressed ink, but I am going to get this in oxide for sure, but it still looks good. It, it still gives a nice distressed look, so it's cool. So I'm going to take, to do the shading, I'm going to take Tuscan red and just go all the way around the little leather band 
on the hat. Okay, and then let's do a little blending. Let me bring that up a little closer so you guys can see it. Look how cool that looks. Take these glasses off. I think that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? So that's how I created the hat with the uh, glasses on the steampunk hat, the leathery age looking steampunk hat with the purple glasses or the purple goggles, I guess you'd just say. They're not glasses, they're goggles. So I think that turned out really, really cool. Okay, so just a second. And we will end this video and end this series. I'm excited for the next series that I do because um, I showed you that steampunk world I made with the collage bits. We're going to create that whole world and then put these girls, either both or one of them, into that world. But you guys, um, that video is probably not going to be for another week. Um, my birthday is coming up this month. Um, towards the end of the month. And I, I saw this challenge where this girl said... Um, the month of your birthday, do things that you really want to do for yourself. Like make yourself things that you've been wanting to make all year. The one, the things you say, oh, I want to make myself that. Or I want to make myself this. So I have a purse. I have a an altered bag I want to make. And I want to, it's already a purse, but I'm altering it. And it's going to be very boho. And I've been saying it. And I want to make, the, I want to alter the purse. And then I want to make myself an altered makeup bag. And that's going to be boho. And an eyeglass case. And that's going to be boho. So the whole thing's going to match. And I've been wanting to do that for myself. So I'm going to do that for my birthday. I'm not going to show that on camera. Because it's a long process. But um, when it's done, I'll show it to you. It'll take me about a week to do it all. So I'll probably come on with maybe um, as I get things done. Show you, you know, how it turned out. So just a second, guys. I just dropped a bunch of goodies on the ground. And I mean goodies. Oh, I like all this stuff. Just a second. It's a bunch of ephemera and beautiful napkins. You guys want to see what I just dropped on the ground? I'll show you. Look at this napkin. I'm going to use this on something. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. And just a little, little cool bits I can use in backgrounds. This is what I dropped on the ground. Love all this. You know, just all those little that stuff we all love. Things like this. Okay, anyway, it was in the back of my book. And this cool napkin. All right. Put that back in the back of my book. All right. So let's just come out. Back out. There we go. So this is what we ended up with. I think she looks really pretty. I am so excited about this. Like I said, I'm going to make some prints of this and hopefully get it in my Etsy store. And I have some other prints I need to make up and put in my Etsy store. I've been not, I don't know what my problem is. I need to do it. And um, when I do, if you are interested in any prints, my prints are usually for the eight by tens or eight and a half by 11s. They're like, they'll be like $10 and 20 by 20s will be $15. So um, whenever I get them up in the store, I'll let you guys know if anybody's interested in any prints. Um, also though, more importantly, <coughs> a lot of you guys are here to just to, to learn and to get tips and ideas and be inspired, and I hope you were. Um, let me know if you are going to try um, maybe a vintage background with Tim Holtz Distress Inks or Distress Oxide or a mixture of both. Um, and let me know how you guys like how this page turned out. All right, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And you guys, come join. It's called Our Magical Little Place. There's a link below. And um, <coughs> whether you do mixed media, you do uh, if you uh, if you like coloring books, what, or if you like to knit, whatever you like, whatever your art is, come there, share it with us in our magical little place. Everyone's very nice there and very supportive. And it's a great place to come and share your work, your artwork. All right, you guys, that's it. I will talk to you guys in the next one.